In this video, we'll derive the Euler product formula for the gamma function. As we saw in the last video, Weierstrass defined the gamma function by the equation 1 over the gamma function of z is equal to z times e to the gamma z times the product from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 plus z over n times e to the minus z over n. The constant gamma is known as the euler mascheroni constant. Let's write out the definition of an infinite product and the euler mascheroni constant. Then we'll combine the limits and take them both at the same time. We can use standard rules for exponentials to take the factor e to the minus log of m times z out of the first term. And this is equal to m to the minus z. Again, using standard rules for exponentials, we can rewrite the first term as the product from n equals 1 to m of e to the z over m. And then cancel like terms. Now let's rewrite m to the minus z as a telescoping product. Let's rewrite m as a telescoping product. Since this product goes from n equals 1 to m minus 1, we can add an additional factor of 1 plus 1 over m to the z and take both products at the same time. And in the limit as m goes to infinity, the factor 1 plus 1 over m goes to 1. Taking the inverse of this expression, we arrive at the product formula for the gamma function. This formula is due to Euler. It is valid except when z equals 0, minus 1, minus 2, and so on. This formula was given in 1729 in a letter to Goldbach by Euler. Let's prove that the gamma function is equal to the following limit. This formula for the gamma function follows immediately from this step from our previous calculation, as we will now show. <laughs> 